hey you bunch of legends so i made a video i think two videos ago three videos ago i can't remember on just a little bit about the volumetrics but what i thought i would do is is just show you a way to improve your volumetrics and yeah some people will use this it's a little bit more work but sometimes you'll use it sometimes you won't to be honest a lot of times i don't use this technique but i thought i would just make a video on it so that you have the option and you learn something so what i'll do is you can see here this is a scene no volume metrics i've got no volume in there so to create volume same thing we're just going to go shift a mesh cube s scale it up so it is above the scene so it's something like that as long as it covers your scene so if i go back to camera and i go s and i make it smaller if the cube if you can't see your scene then it's obviously too small and once i do that it's obviously big enough to to work basically so same thing go to shading make sure this is selected what you can do is double click on it and just type volume so you don't get confused okay you can drag this there and now just click new so same thing click on the principal sdf and you can delete it then first thing same as always just go shift a and type in volume and you want to get a principled volume same thing you can plug the volume into the volume and this obviously adds volume and then for your density you can change it to like something like 0.06 it's perfect you'll obviously have to play around with it until you find something that's that you like depend on how your scene is lit depends on so many things how much density so you'll have to play around with it not no scene is exactly the same so basically you'll have to play around with this just keep that in mind and then what you want to do is you want to play with the anastropy and just bring it up a little bit that's also fine you don't have to really do it but it, it does give a little bit more effect to your fog volume that kind of thing and then what you want to do is go shift a type in mix and get a mix shader and then you want to plug that in like that and then what you're going to do is you'll understand this a little bit better if i move this around you're going to get a volume scatter so shift a type in volume get a volume scatter these basically do the same thing but it's going to give you more control so if you plug it in like that so you're going to plug this principal volume into there and volume scatter into the other shader of the mix shader it's just basically mixing the two and then you want to go to shift a again and get a noise texture and plug the color into the density then click on your noise texture so click on it go Control t to enable node wrangler if you don't have it just go here to edit preferences type in go to add-ons type in node and enable node wrangler and then when you hit Control t this will come up and then what you want to do is let's go here you want to go shift a and get a color ramp so we can control this a little bit better plug this in there like that and basically this is going to allow us to control the fog if i go back to camera if i bring this in you'll see now what happens so it becomes less so this is basically a way to control the fog and you can see there if i bring it all the way up it's very foggy and if i bring it all the way down this just gives you a bit more control like i said it's a lot of work to to do this if you don't really if you don't really want to do it you don't really need to you can just turn that off and you can see that's what it will all look like you can see this just gives it a bit more fog and like i said it gives you a bit more control okay to bring it all the way down you got no more fog volume basically same thing and then you can obviously bring the white in as well it just allows you to have a bit more control and then you can also change the color you can always change it like that but you can leave it white that's pretty much perfect bring this anastropy up a little bit of your volume scatter same as for your principal volume around about the same value is fine doesn't have to be exact and you know, like i said this is you know it's a little bit more work to create something but if you want a little bit more control this is probably the best way to do it it gives you a bit more control and yeah you could always just throw on a principal volume or volume scatter plug it into 
the material output and that will work perfectly fine for most scenes but I thought I would just show you how to do this it's a little bit more work like I said and yeah let's go back here and there we go that's what it looks like so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe I'll upload this to the patreon you can download it if you're a member and also feel free to check out blender kit link in the description check out the patreon see you in the next video peace